So what's up guys? Yes, I know I'm uploading another video, absolutely insane, but someone had an interesting question and that was how to create realistic headlights in Blender. That's also a good reminder for you guys. Hit me up on Instagram with your ideas so I can steal your ideas and not actually have to come up with my own ideas uh, because this will help you with your problem, but also will help the full community in general. So it's just a big help. If I just get a lot of ideas, I can choose the best ones and just send a video out for everyone to learn from. So there's a big help. So head over to Instagram, hit me up with ideas as mentioned before. So now a disclaimer to this video. I'll first explain how it usually would be done and then you can get your mouse ready and hover over the dislike button because then I'll show how you should be doing it because yeah I'll explain so how you should be doing it you're in the automotive industry or whatever you're going to make an ad for Mercedes or whatever you're going to make a Hollywood film for uh, with the Audi placement I don't know whatever you're going to do you're probably going to be working with this brand otherwise you shouldn't be using that brand anyways because it's not your brand let's say Audi so you're working with Audi Audi will give you files and they hopefully will give uh, give you converted polygon files but they might give you CAD data or NURB data as experts might say this will be converted with Delta Gen or Delta Batch, or there's a lot of solutions. Uh, you could put this car in Freight from Autodesk, and then you could render this car. You could also drop it in Unreal, of course, or any software, it doesn't really matter, even Blender. Um, but what matters is that this model is extremely detailed and it's exactly like the real car because these are the production files, these are the manufacturing files. I already talked about this in my Do Not Model Cars video. These files are perfect. They're exactly like the real car. The glass has thickness. There's no normal maps. It's actually modeled. And the materials are not any materials. They're not just, oh, I don't know what metallic, what roughness. No, they're actually scanned usually as AXF. This is like the industry standard, at least in Germany. I'd say probably even worldwide. But I know there's also other scan uh, methods, but AXF is probably the common method. So you're working with manufacturing data and scanned materials. So this will result in realistic looking headlights. Now I know my audience slowly. I know that far over 90% probably are not working for this brand. I know that far over 90% are doing it as a hobby or for fun or I don't know for what, but at least not for the actual brand. So they probably don't have access to these files. That's what I'm assuming. I assume that you modeled the car or I don't know what did with this car. I assume maybe you got it from Forza. Maybe you got it from Turbo Squid, from CG Trader. I don't know, but probably not the real deal. Because if so, you probably not have this question. So the solution I'll give you is a good solution, I think. But a lot of people are really going to want to dislike this video because it's an obvious and I think simple solution. But still, it's just the best if you don't have access to the actual files. So let's jump right into Blender. So these are the ugly boys we're going to fix. They have standard blender shader, standard blender stuff. So get ready to dislike this video. Open up the browser, type in Supra headlights. And some of you will just cringe right now. So look for the best looking headlight you can find. Open up in Photoshop. Do some tweaks like make it square. So it's going to be easier to unwrap the UVs. I'm going to do some color grading to kind of get rid of the glass on the headlights. So I have more the inside. So I'm adding some contrast. Now I'm just going to cut out this bad boy, give it a dark background so the white doesn't glance into the render later on. And also I'm just going to desaturate the reds and greens and yellow so they don't shine into the headlight. So now open up Blender, uh, delete all materials of the headlight. We're just going to need one in this case. We're going to call it headlight. Then hop over to the shader uh, editor, add this image texture you just created. So drop it in. Um, now you see UVs are missing. That's going to be the next step. So match up the camera. You can use five for orthographic view, five on numpad, of course, and just kind of match it up. The better you do it, the better the results will be. Then you're going to click U and project by view. And now uh, my UVs aren't perfect. So I'm going to keep rotating, scaling, squeezing, pushing until it fits. Um, I'll mention again, the better you do this step, the better the results will be. Uh, but you can already see uh, this already worked out quite well. Now I see the color is not quite matching up. It's pretty grayish, darkish, flattish. 
So you can tweak this in the shader editor, just drop in a curve, um, RGB curve or whatever, um, just to tweak it a little bit so it fits your rendering a little bit better. So last step, delete the other headlight if you have one. So we're going to mirror it so it has the same UV. So we won't do UVs twice. So we're just going to use the mirror modifier. Nothing crazy here. No rocket science as usual. So there you have it. Uh, you can now dislike the video for this simple trick, um, but you can see this is a good solution for achieving high quality on a low quality model that is not a production model, that is not an official model and just a hobby model. Mm -hmm.